Welcome to Lowell What TV, your daily dose of WTF. T-Swift, Tay-Tay, Swifty, T-Swizzle, or whichever one you prefer to call her, is actually named Taylor Allison Swift. And she may not really be an open book like you thought. Like the fact that she not just writes songs, but writes stories, and has even been a part of a magic act. Here are 10 things you didn't know about Taylor Swift. At number 10, being discovered. At 11 years old, she was singing the national anthem at a 76ers game and totally blew away the crowd. Her parents decided to take her to Nashville to get her a record deal. At number nine, dream job. When Taylor was two, she wanted to be a jockey. Not a disc jockey, but a horse racing jockey. She's been riding horses since she was nine months old, with some help, of course. At number eight, oh, Christmas tree. In 1990, she worked at her family's 11-acre Christmas tree farm and had the job of knocking praying mantises off the trees. At number seven, Shakespeare reincarnated. At age 12, she wrote a novel 350 pages long while on vacation. Though she never had it published, it apparently exists. At number six, SNL history. She made SNL history when she was the first guest to write her own opening monologue. Maybe because it was more like a song. At number five, favorite TV show. She is obsessed with Grey's Anatomy and was completely ecstatic when she heard them feature her song, White Horse. The obsession even goes as far as her sweet cat that she named Meredith after Ellen Pompeo's character. At number four, Magic Act. She's been sawed in half by magician Franz Harari. He debuted a new version of the standing sawing illusion and introduced Taylor Swift as his guest assistant. Taylor had to wear a special made bodysuit that cinched her waist to 18 inches. At number three, Cameo with Miley. She had a cameo in the Hannah Montana movie, performing crazier as herself. She also had an appearance in CSI. At number two, James Taylor. One day, she told her mother that the only song she likes to sing in choir class is James Taylor's song, Fire and Rain. And that's when her mother told her that she was named after her idol. Later on in her life, Taylor was lucky enough to sing a duet with him. And at number one, it runs in the family. Marjorie Finlay, Swift's maternal grandmother, was a celebrated opera singer in Singapore and Thailand. She actually had a huge musical influence over her career. Click like, comment, and subscribe for more daily videos like these.